What a glorious day we have today. Even with COVID masks, it is still a glorious day. When uh, I was thinking this week, you may be seated. (laughs) I was thinking this week, what does Easter mean to us? Is it the Easter eggs and the Easter egg hunt that we're going to have for the kids after church? Is it family, spending time with your family? Is it coming to church and celebrating? What does it mean for you and what does it mean for me? I was thinking about Jesus in the garden of Gethsemane when he was praying and saying, Father, take this cup for me. In his humanity, he wanted to revoke everything the pain, the suffering, knowing what he would have to endure. He would revoke. I don't know if you, if I'm going into a storm and I'm going into a trial, I want to run so far from that trial, but Jesus ran to it. He didn't revoke, knowing that he would be beaten beyond recognition, that he would um, have his beard torn and he would be so covered in blood he'd have spears in his side he would be tormented beaten mocked shamed the king of kings the lord of lords but even though he said to his father take this cup from me let your will be done not be mine there was something that stopped him and it was the irrevocable love of God to take away our sin to take away all that we do all that we will do Um, if you actually look at the legal term of irrevocable it means something you couldn't you cannot pull back something beyond recall binding changeless definite a fact final indestructible permanent stable certain Conclusive, ironclad, unavoidable. That is the love of God for us. That is what Jesus did on that Easter weekend. Was love us irrevocable. Now I have an Easter egg here as an object lesson. Because I'm the kids leader, you expect an object lesson. So... Why do we celebrate Easter with Easter egg hunts, with Easter eggs? Generally, an an egg symbolises new life. Every egg that is formed will at some point produce new life. Now, if I crack open this egg, I don't think there's going to be anything inside but chocolate. It's hollow. There's nothing in there bit like that tomb, that tomb there, there's nothing in there because Jesus died and he rose again. There was no power in hell that could keep him in that tomb. He rose again. Even though Easter eggs is fun for us and fun for the kids, what that death and resurrection brought was new life for us, making us a new creation He said, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in, adheres to, trusts in, relies on me as saviour will live even if he dies. What an amazing, um, what an amazing thing that is. That Jesus died for us and rose again for us so that we would be sinless like him. Not perfect, just sinless. So let's all stand this morning as we pray and thank him for an amazing and glorious day that he has given us. Jesus, we thank you for your gift. We thank you for your irrevocable love for us. That you bled and died. You were beaten and shamed. All for us, all for our sin that we would have new life and we would have a saviour. We give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. You may partake.